Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at extensions for Visual Studio 2022. We will look at how to manage, download and update extensions inside of Visual Studio. But before we get started, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get into it then. So what are really extensions? So the extensions are code packages that run inside the Visual Studio and provide new or improved features. Extensions may be controls, samples, templates, tools, and other components that, are, that add functionalities to your Visual Studio. Example, the live share, the GitHub Copilot, and whatnot, yeah? So let's get into it. And so as you can see, I've actually opened the Visual Studio 2022. To get us started here, yeah, this is how we actually locate the extensions manager. So we click on the extensions here yeah, and then manage extension. So here we have got a bunch of extensions that you can actually download. But first of all, let's look at installed. So once you click on the install, these are the extensions that are already installed on the Visual Studio. So just some, some of them, are the, um, I've got um, the Xamarin templates, uh, Xamarin the Apple SDK and, and whatnot, yeah? So if we, you can actually click on a specific extension like controls, templates. So, so as you can see, if I click on the templates, yeah, I've got C++ Windows Forms for uh, Visual Studio 2022. Then if we click on the SDK, as you can see, I've got no SDK um, extension installed. So let's come on to the updates here. So the updates, well, updates are the, the extensions that are actually installed that you can actually update them or they, that have updates available, yeah? So you can click whatever extension that you want to update. So once you click on it, and then it's got this button here, update. Yeah, so you can click on the update and update the extensions. And also, you can also look for extensions to, to download and install by clicking on the online. So this will actually, uh, this will actually uh, bring out all the extensions available for you to download and install, yeah. So as you can see, uh, we've got a bunch of them here. So this can be actually found in the Visual Studio Marketplace. Yeah? So we can expand this bit here. So as you can see, uh, we've got tools, we've got controls, we've got templates. So let's um, expand um, the tools. So once we expand the, the controls here, these are the, the type of controls that you can actually download and install. We've got ASP.NET, we've got framework and libraries, we've got light switch, SharePoint, Silverlight, Windows Forms, WPF, and whatnot, yeah? So if we click on the WPF, I mean the Windows Forms, so here we've got a bunch of controls that you can actually download and install for Windows Forms, yeah? And if we click on the templates here, we have templates for Visual Basic, uh, Visual C Sharp, um, Visual C++, these are all templates that you can actually download and install for your uh, for Visual Studio. Yeah, so let's expand the other and see what actually is in there. So as you see, we've got uh, templates for AES, ASP.NET, database, uh, Visual Studio extensions. And let's click on the uh, Visual C Sharp. So here, we can you can download and install some templates for C Sharp, yeah, like uh, the Entity Framework Reverse Pocket Generator. Uh, you can scroll down, and you can also you can also go like the, the two free. You can also um, you can also search whatever templates that you're looking for from here. Okay, so let's look at the tools that you can also download and install as extensions. So if we look at it here, we've got a bunch of them. So we've got build tools, we've got coding tools, 
connected services, data, documentation, extension packs, and whatnot, yeah? So let's click one of them. Let's click on the data, yeah? So these are data tools that you can download and install them as extensions. Yeah, okay. just like um, Entity Firmware Core Power Tools, uh, the SQLite and SQL Server Compact 2, two box. And we've got a whole bunch of them. You can also go, like, you can also look for whatever that you, you look, I mean, that you want. You can, you can also search it. So as you can see here, I've got ML.net Model Builder 2022 installed already. So if you want to, like, look at your installed bit here, you can come into the install like, the, like what we looked at earlier on, yeah? So as you can see, we've got a whole bunch of tools that we can download, and we can also download themes for Visual Studio, okay? So let's look at what is inside the Roaming Extension Manager. So here, as you can see, you're currently not signed in. So basically, you need to sign in to get, um, to get the Roaming, Roaming Extension Manager, yeah? So as you can see, it's not really difficult. So let's go back to the online bit here and let's look at, let's try to install, download and install one of them. So let's go back to the C sharp and let's look at something that is very simple. Uh, something like WPF UI. So if we look at it here, we've got um, who created the extensions and the versions and how many installs and then we've got the ratings as well. So you can also look at other things like release notes and uh, information, or you can report the extension to Microsoft, yeah? And I'm just gonna find something very simple for us to download just to see, yeah? So let's look at extension visual adding so we click on the download here. Yeah? So as you can see, once you click on the download, it actually downloads it. And then if we read down here, your changes will be your changes will be scheduled. The modification will begin when all Microsoft Visual Studio windows are closed. So once you close the Visual Studio and restart it, all the, the installation will start and all the changes will take effect. Yeah. So as you can see, it's very simple to manage your extensions. So I'm just going to leave this video here. So now you can leave more about your extensions. So I'm going to leave you 